We went to adopt 15 battery egg farm hens today. And we came home with 18. They gave us three. <laughs> so they're sitting here in the shade with some water in there, waiting for us to let them out into their new coop and run area. These ladies have been cooped up in the small cages. More chickens than, the, than are in these cages now. There's three to four in each of these cages. And probably anywhere from five to ten would sit in one of these cages laying eggs for the egg industry. These girls are about two years old and not producing as much as um, egg companies would like. They're still producing pretty well. And um, we have committed to keeping them for the rest of their natural lives. So their job on the farm is primarily going to be to clean up our gardens and to turn our composts and to run around with our goats and eat the bugs and eat the grasses and various things of that nature. And we're not too concerned about whether or not they lay enough eggs. We're concerned about what job they hold for the property. They will not be bred. They won't be making any more babies. They won't be, we won't be concerned about their egg production, just what job they do here. They're gonna have a nice little retirement. And see, some of these hens are not in the best condition. Their feathers are pretty ragged. They're pretty filthy. We have one, its feathers are just hen pecked all over. We may have to isolate that one until its feathers grow back in. This one's pretty hen pecked, pretty, pretty torn up. A lot of these hens have been in small cages with five to ten hens their whole lives for two years just laying eggs. Their vents are filthy. When we have a nice warm day, we're probably going to have to give them all a really good bath. Beaks are broken. The beaks are broken. They're just not in good shape. But we're going to give them a good home and they'll shape up soon. Yep. All right, why don't you hand her over to me? Hi. Hello. You can see this poor little chicken is pr practically bare. Her wings are just eaten up. This is supposed to be a two-year-old bird. If I didn't know better, I'd think that this bird was a very young bird. And there's some of our girls for the first time in our pallet coop, checking things out. We're gonna have to be in here for a couple of days. Luckily, it's very cool weather right now. They need to be in here for a couple of days just so they can figure out that this is home before we open up the doors and let them enjoy exploring outside. And they've already laid like, you know, six or seven eggs in the short time that they've already been here waiting for us to get things set up for them. And there are 18 of them. So we're gonna have eggs coming out our ears. Beware neighbors and friends, you may find cartons of eggs on your doorstep. I've just clipped their wings, uh, just a little bit on one side on their primaries, and we're ready to let them out so that they can explore and learn what it is to be free. Let's uh, release them and see how they do. There we go. Come on, girls. Got 18 girls. There you go. That's a good girl. One made it down and survived. The rest can come. Come on.
think this is the first time they've ever experienced one of those type of ramps. They're still learning and trying to figure out how to walk up and down it. Ours is a little steep. Kind of a muddy day to have them out, but at least there's sunshine. Mm hmm. And plenty of room. Nope, here comes another, maybe. Mostly just pecking at it, we're not sure what to do. Yep. You're the last one in there. Oh, no, there's one in the hen box. Yeah. Oh, there's another one there. A few more in here. Oh, there you are. We still have three left, but that means 15 are out. There we go. Yep, that's where the water is. Yes, this is where all the bugs are. Come on. Riley. Um, somebody's wearing your sweatshirt. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> Look at Laurel. <laughs> hey, Leghorn, what do you call a chicken who lays an egg on the roof? An egg roll.